My name is Ross Robinson. They call me Roscoe. <laughs> so this is the new Lynx uh, 2022 Boondocker DS. DS stands for deep snow. Um, I'm excited to be one of the first to be on the sled and have the sled in North America. You can spring check this snowmobile and um, has an 850 E-Tech under the hood. And it, it has a lot of that BRP DNA, but Lynx is uh, from Finland. So Finnish company where the train is rough, the conditions aren't always ideal. And um, there's some very distinct differences in this snowmobile that um, you really do feel when you ride it. So this sled comes in two different track lengths. This is the 4100 here. This is the long track. And there's also a 3900. Um, those are millimeters, which um, then translate to inches um, to your standard mountain sled lengths. So one, 154, 165 when it comes to, it's the same as the, the Dew tracks. Okay. Yeah. So the Lynx platform is called the Radian platform, which is very similar to the Skidoo Gen 4 platform. We see a lot of similarities in the handlebar setup, the way that you stand on the snowmobile and kind of the internal overstructure, that is very similar. And it does ride similar out of kind of initially, but once you dive into the, the bumps and the, the differentiating terrain that we face, that's when the differences kind of show up. But as far as similarities, same motor, clutching, drive system, same track, stuff like that. But um, the suspension is really the big difference. And it, it, you can certainly feel the difference as well. Uh, the skis are different. So these are the Blade DS Plus skis. So these are their deep snow ski. They're super wide um, and I have enjoyed them so far. They don't feel too darty or aggressive in any way. Any way. They feel like a very well-balanced mountain ski. Um, when you ride technical terrain, you don't want something that's gonna fight you too hard. You wanna be able to give it input and it reacts well. So the, those are kind of the skis. They're, they're a little bit longer than the Skidoo ski as well. And then the rear suspension is really where a lot of the, everybody's eyes will go when you look, look at it. So this is the PPS2 DS. This is the, um, their trademark skid that they're uh, famous for. They have a similar version in their trail sleds that then they have changed, modified, and redesigned to be um, a monster in the deep snow. So, so scissor arms are mounted on the outside and where the rear track shock would traditionally tie back into the, the base of the front track shock or close to that front track shock arm, uh, the rear track shock is this long horizontal shock that's like, I kid you not, two feet long and it changes where it mounts in the skid and how it reacts. So it reacts a little bit more like an uncoupled swing arm style that really handles the bumps extremely well. What you don't have in the snowmobile that the Skidoo's have is you have T-Motion and all of that. We don't have that in the Lynx. The Lynx is a rigid skid side to side and then with the big shock and then a standard front track shock. So a, a a typical front track shock, but then the rear track shock is this long horizontal piece that uh, attaches differently. And it's really interesting to actually look at it in depth. Um, so these snowmobiles are playful. They do feel similar in the way that the Skidoo feels. You can obviously adjust that with limiter strap adjustment built in with some shock um, tuning as well. This um, 4100 here is, is much tamer than what I uh, have been riding. I've been riding the shorter one the 3900 and it is just wild. Really fun and just an awesome snowmobile to ride, but this is much more tame when it comes to that. And you can get this snowmobile with some adjustment to really feel a lot more planted than potentially even a Skidoo. It feels like the snowmobile can just crawl pretty easily and it's very, the power delivery is the same. So it has that smooth linear power feel that you don't have to just um, kind of get after it all, on and off all the time. But what you feel different in this, especially once you get into some steeper side hills, is that, that two beam rigid suspension in the rear. So it, it feels like it doesn't quite want to wash as much, um, but that may make it feel a little bit harder to ride in the mellow train. But when you get into the really steep stuff, it likes to hold a line really well, which is something that I'm a big fan of. Plastic wise, you're gonna see that it's very similar because it's kind of built off the same chassis and design there. The front end is a 36 inch front end. So all really similar when it comes to that. And a uh, little bit different running boards, but same kind of idea. The running boards are different because the, the mounting for the skid is totally different because it's just, it's its own deal back there. So that's a question that I've gotten a lot as well as what is that thing hanging off the rear skid that goes over the track? 
So that's Link's version of a snow flap, essentially, to help cool it a little bit and kick snow back up into the heat exchanger if that's what you need. And that's really all it does. Um, it, it helps that short tunnel do its job. Lynx was the first to do the short tunnel back in 2018. So they were doing it over there a little bit early and this is their solution to uh, a little bit of cooling um, if, if you need that. But it's also easily removable and if you ride deep snow all the time, you don't necessarily need it. So it's a, a, just a different take on a traditional snow flap, trying to do the same thing. The, the front shocks are also premium KYB monotubes, like they're as good as it gets from them. So when you buy the snowmobile out of the box, it's just ready to go jump, beat up, and just kind of get after it. That's the whole mindset of Lynx a little bit. So it comes with stuff like that. It comes with like the brake reservoir cover and, and just the small seat, all sorts of little things as well. Um, kind of some premium features to make it its own beast.